welcome to math today. Let's start out with some exercise. We're gonna count all the way up to 30. And every time we get to a new set of 10, we're going to switch what we do with our arms. So for one through 10, we're gonna pat our shoulders. For 11 through 20, we're going to pat our head. And for 21, through 30, we're going to cross and pat, like this. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <gasps> that was fast. Let's see, what else could we do to start our day? I know, for one through 10, let's stretch to the side. For 11 through 20, let's stretch to the other side. And for 21 through 30, let's play peekaboo. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a second, I made a mistake. After 10, it doesn't just repeat. What comes after 10? 11. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <laughs> that was fun. Let's count it in slow motion now. I'd say we should do it on our fingers and toes, but we'd run out. So let's do 10 wiggles of this ear, 10 wiggles of this ear, and 10 wiggles of your chin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nice work. Let's take out some linking cubes and pretend my linking blocks are building blocks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten of my blocks. Now let's make sure we have ten. Let's let's count them using our finger. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, who noticed I made a pattern? You're so right. We have yellow, red, blue, blue. Yellow, red, blue, blue. Yellow, red. If we were to continue our pattern, what would come next? Would it be another yellow? Would it be another red? No, you're right, it would be two blues. Sometimes when I get confused with patterns, I like to sing them. So let's see. Yellow, red, blue, blue. Yellow, red, blue, blue. Yellow, red, yellow, no. Yellow, red, blue, blue. Yellow, red, blue, blue. Yellow, red, red, no. Yellow, red, blue, blue, yellow, red, blue, blue, yellow, red, blue, blue. Yes, that's the same. But we only have 10, so we're only going to use 10. Now, I would like to share four blocks with my brother, Eric. See, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna 
see if I can unhook my blocks. There we go. Four for my brother. And how many are left for me? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we're going to make a number bond about this story, how could we show it? Hmm. We had 10 for our hole. And then I gave, whoops, I wrote the wrong number. At least I had five left over for myself and I gave four to my brother. Hmm. So if we were to write this as a subtraction sentence, we'd write 10 minus four equals all right, let's put our blocks back together. Now, we still have how many blocks all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this time I want to share my blocks a different way. I'm going to share with my brother five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Here you go, Eric. And these five are for me. So if we were going to turn this into a number bond, what would we do? Let's make a number bond. We started with 10 and I gave five to my brother and I gave, or I had five left over for myself. And if I wanted to turn it into a math sentence, I would write 10 minus five equals five. I'm going to tell you a story about a little girl who had 10 peaches. So let's draw them on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, Four of Melanie's peaches were not ripe yet. I'm going to show that they weren't ripe by crossing them out. So she had four that were unripe. One, two, three, four. How many peaches were ready to eat? One. Two, three, four, five, six. So let's make a number bond out of this story. Melanie had 10 peaches. That's our whole. Four of them were not ripe. And that means Six of them were ripe and delicious and ready to eat. Crunch, 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 crunch. Now if we want to write this as a number sentence, as a subtraction sentence, we would write 10 minus the four that she can't eat yet equals six leftover peaches that are ripe and ready to eat. That sounds delicious, Melanie. Now for the next story, we're going to have to use our imaginations. 
I'm not going to draw cars because it's math. It's not art class. I love spending a long time drawing and painting, but for math, we have to move a little bit more quickly. So we're just going to use our brains to pretend. So once upon a time, there was a kid named Chris and Chris had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten cars. So two of Chris's cars did not have any wheels. I'm gonna show this by circling them. Two cars did not have wheels. So how many cars did Chris have that had wheels? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's make a number bond. Ten is our whole, and our parts are two and eight. So if we write that as a subtraction sentence, that means ten minus two equals eight. I hope you had fun doing math today and I can't wait to see what you do on your own. Bye-bye.